Weather-wise, we got a lot to talk about in just a second, but I want to show you something kind of special tonight. It's a partial lunar eclipse. Not only that, the moon is full. Not only that, it's a supermoon. It's all going on tonight. So here's how this is going to work out. It starts, the partial eclipse begins at 841 and is ma at its maximum point when the most moon is blocked here at 1044. It's not going to be a huge change, but you'll see a one portion kind of get reddish, reddish brown here as it goes along. And the whole Earth itself will look, I mean, the whole moon will look a little faded in terms of its brightness. Uh, that's about 1044, and then it keeps going, and then the partial eclipse is wrapping up, and things are changing just before 1 o'clock. The weather is going to cooperate. It's not going to be hard to find the moon. Just go out, look for that big bright light, and then you can watch us again between 8.40 and about 12.40 a.m. as we go along tonight. Kind of cool stuff. Yeah, all right, 79 outside right now, not cool. On the warm side for sure, mostly sunny. Humidity only 44%, dew points in the 50s. A little Easter, uh, eight mile an hour breeze out there, 30.09 on the pressure, and that hasn't changed for <laughs> days and weeks really. Uh, it's a little warmer west than east. Jackson's 82, Adrian's 82, 75 in Monroe, 77 in Troy, 75 in Windsor, 78 in Mount Clemens. It's not a big breeze, but this easterly breeze, east, northeast, not only again this evening and tonight and tomorrow keep some moisture coming in here we might get a little fog out of that obviously this is the main story for us which really isn't a story but it's the could be should be would be story moisture streaming off the ocean into about as far as southern Ohio and we will not get showers out of it we will get if you watch carefully we'll get a few clouds here as we go along overnight tonight not many but a few more tomorrow as well I know there's a little green blip showing up in here it's not gonna rain on us uh, as we go along, but a few extra clouds brings the temperatures down just a bit. So tonight, mostly clear skies, some fog chances, a higher chances tomorrow than we, the little bits that we really didn't get this morning. 62 is warm compared to 56 for this time of year. And then we'll break into a partly to mostly sunny sky, 80 degrees for a high tomorrow. There's that little east wind. It's only about five, but it keeps feeding the moisture in. So Thursday, it's the same kind of forecast, but there's a better chance of fog Thursday morning. I think the frog's probably done Friday, Saturday. Sunday, but look at the weekend between 82 and 84 Friday through Sunday when fall begins.